All right, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. Great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard right below you. <gasps> Nearly there. Yeah, but why are the lights still on? Chloe will take care of it, don't worry. Can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell's she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's my girl. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off. We so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. I 
guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? Come on. Whoa. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shambhala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No. You had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn. Listen, face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Damn it, Flynn. No, 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 no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Alright, alright. Think, Nate, think! Hey! Yeah, there it is. Hey, up your sunburn up! Suckers. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? Hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. 
Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a Sully, second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani Stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Bazarovich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani Stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay i see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged are you in oh hell yes i was in before you were Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <clears throat> okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to...